हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट कॉम्प्लिकेशंस ऑफ एमीबिक लिवर एब्सिस सो इन द कॉम्प्लिकेशंस ऑफ एमीबिक लिवर abscess the most frequent complication see because this is the liver abscess okay this is the liver there is an abscess here now this is the diaphragm so this abscess might rupture and it can go into the peritoneum or it be ruptures it goes into the peri pleural cavity or it can even go into the mediastinum into the pericardial cavity so most common complication of amoebic liver abscess is it can rupture into the peri first peritoneum followed by it can also rupture into the pleural and pericardial cavity also then the other complications are size of the so if there is there is rupture very good if there is rupture why there can be a rupture one is size of the abscess is the important risk factor for the rupture of the uh, abscess okay that is one second if there is fine if there is rupture then how are you going to treat it if there is rupture in the pleural space first first if there is rupture in the peritoneal cavity sometimes it is difficult to diagnose right so if you if, if you have a doubtful diagnosis of rupture then if you should do a laparotomy is done if doubtful diagnosis if there is doubtful diagnosis then laparotomy is done See, where do when do you do laparotomy? Laparotomy is done if there is doubtful diagnosis, or if there is a hollow viscous perforation, or if there is a fistulization which is resulting in hemorrhage or sepsis, or if there is failure of conservative therapy. So, there is rupture. After rupture, if you have any doubtful diagnosis, or if you think there is a hollow viscous perforation along with that if you think that there has been fistula formation because of the rupture or if you think that there is failure of conservative surgery then conservative therapy then laparotomy is done in these patients then how are you going to treat the rupture in pleural space if there is a rupture into the pleural space then we do thoracocentesis and close the defect if it ruptures into the bronchus if it ruptures into the bronchus in most of the cases it is self limited by giving postural drainage it in more in bronchus if there is rupture into the bronchus it is self limited condition you can do postural drainage and bronchodilators are given to the patient Thank you and thank you for watching.